to not buy a meal pass <laughs> as a first step, and second, to join up with the food, uh, the Concordia Food System, um, the, the Concordia Food Coalition, really, uh, to really take some courses with Satoshi Aikida. He has a very avant-garde, new approach to uh, understanding, analyzing, and moving forward in, in the direction of these projects. Um, to look immediately first year at how you can get involved with some of the uh, projects that are happening with the Sustainable Action Fund and start to use them. I discovered it only in my last year at Concordia uh, and I was there for five years. The amount of projects that we could have done that would have benefited the students and the community as well as the university um, would have been, you know, could have been huge. So I think there needs to be almost, um, and this is something we worked on as one of my internships, uh, with Sustainable Concordia was developing the alternative uh, guide for resident advisors so that when res students come into residence they're shown that there are all these different options for food. There's the meal card but there's also people's potato and frigo via. There's, you know, there's these student uh, extracurricular activities but there's also these uh, you know, more socially driven uh, economic activities or whatever social activities. So I think what we need again is um, it, it needs to not be on the the kind of back burner of Concordia, that there's these amazing social projects, food projects, and community building grassroots projects. They need to be brought into the limelight, if you will, uh, and really supported and highlighted because it took me three years to find them. Uh, my, my career now is permaculture design, teaching, educating, and designing systems that are as small as a balcony and as big as 500 acres. Um, my whole career is rooted in this that I only discovered in third year university. Imagine where I would be today if I had found this three years prior, right? So the actual future of our students and the future image of this university really depends on how they support, encourage, uh, and, and grow these, these opportunities.